In today's first reading, the prophet Ezekiel is asked by God to confront Jerusalem with his field. In the gospel, a question is asked our Lord around the mystery of love. The mystery that is so visible in the marital union of a man and a woman. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the feast of a man whose life confronts us with our field. And we celebrate the feast of a man who speaks to us of the mystery of love. And the feast we celebrate today is the feast of St. Maximilian Kolbe. He is that Franciscan priest who in his own way reformed the Franciscan life in Poland. Worked so hard in the printing press to promote devotion to Our Lady especially the devotion to the Immaculate One. He is that priest who opened the Franciscan houses to house the Jews who were being persecuted under the Gezapo. He is that priest who wrote in support and defense of the truth. At one time, he writes, People may want to compromise the truth, but the truth will be known and the truth will remain the truth. Max Millen Kolbe, after all he had done, he was imprisoned and taken to the much dreaded Auschwitz camp in 1941, where he proved that he was a man of virtue, tremendous heroic virtue. On that day, when one of the prisoners was named randomly so that he could be taken to a bunker where he will starve with others to death, deprived of food and drink because the prisoner had escaped. Maximilian volunteered to take his place. He is that man who in his life we begin to see the coming together of two enemies long before the Second World War was over. The German bishops and the Polish bishops after the martyrdom of Maximilian Kolbe began to work together for his cause so that he could be canonized. Something unthinkable at that time, given what had happened between the two nations. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Max Millen Kolbe, when he had taken the place of the prisoner, who cried out and his cry did not fall on deaf ears. It is said Francis, the prisoner who was to survive and tell the story because Max Millen Colby took his place. When he was named to join the other nine prisoners, he cried out about his wife and children that he will never see them again. And it was then that Maximilian Kolbe stepped forward and he says, I'm an old man and I'm a priest. He was not that old. He was in his late forties. Substituted for the prisoner, he is taken to a bank where they were deprived of food and drink. And yet it is said 
as the prisoners were dying. Maximilian Kolbe helped them, prayed with them, absolved them, and prepared them for death. When all the prisoners had died, after two weeks when the bunker was opened, he and the other prisoner were so weak that those who looked at them could not dare look at him. It was like the scene described in Isaiah. So disfigured did he look that we turned our eyes away from him. Not being able to bear what they were seeing in front of them, they injected him with carbolic acid and the prisoner died. In 1971, he was beatified by Paul VI. In 1982, he was canonized by St. John Paul II. And on both occasions, Francis and his family were there. And he spoke in a very profound manner. And when he spoke, he said, we will never understand what it means that a man can lay down his life for his friends. But through what Father Maximilian Kolbe did, I do understand. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, is that Maximilian Kolbe, who the Church presents to us as the patron saint of drug addicts. It presents him as the patron saint of prisoners and journalists. And is that man who confronts us with the reality of life and the mystery of love. It's as it were his life begs a question. What, is, what are those values that we are ready to sacrifice our lives for? And what does it mean to love like Christ? Mm -hmm.